Hello and good morning. My name is Mr. Vrinder Singh and today I am going to teach you physics. And my first lecture today is from class 9. Chapter number 1 is motion. In this chapter we will study in detail that is what is in motion, its different types, the few terms, its reference points, motion along straight line, distance, displacement, uniform motion and non-uniform motion and the difference between distance and displacement. So let's start what is the motion. We know that we have so many things that is in motion. For example, the moving car, moving bike, earth also is in motion and the, what is the definitions of motion? Any object is said to be in motion if it changes its position with respect to time. So, if any object is changing its position with respect to time, for example, a bullet train, a moving car, okay, different, these are the examples of object is in motion. So, let's start with three types. First of all, types of motion, we have three basic types. First is linear motion, second is circular motion, third is vibratory motion. The first one is linear motion. What is linear motion? Any object that is moved in straight line. Any object that is moved in straight line or it covers the straight path, we said to be the object have linear motion. Now you know that what are the different objects that have straight motion? Aap sabko pata hai ki humare paas hote hai linear motion mein examples honge jo objects straight line mein move karte hai. These all examples related with this. For example, fast bullet train, a rocket moving straight in the upward direction and uh, a moving bullet, bullet fired from the gun also traveling straight lines. So these all are the examples of linear motions okay so linear motion is clear what is linear motion linear motion is that motion in which the object travel in straight line or it, it travel the straight path and those sub objects jo sida jate hai okay either along x axis either along y axis okay these all are come into the category of linear motion fast moving bullet train fast moving bullet from the gun, rocket, okay, fast moving car, these all are come into the category of linear motion, clear? Let's start number two. Number two is, now we call it is that circular motion. You know what is circular motion? Any object that travel along a circular path along a fixed point, okay? Kisi fixed point ke surrounding, if the object cover its path, a circular path, then we said to be the object have circular motion. Now, a moving wheel, a moving wheel and uh, a moving wheel and earth moving along sun, the planets rotating around sun, that uh, moon also rotating around earth, these all are the examples of circular motions. Also, in circular motions, the moving fan is also one of the examples of circular motions. So any object that cover, uh, that have a circular motion, okay, having about circular motions and moving in a, object has circular motion if it's move around a fixed point, okay. So the definition of the circular motion is that, a body has circular motion if it move around a fixed point. So this is the definition and we know that it's a different example. Electric fan, merry-go-round, motion of spinning top. These are the other examples of a circular motion. Second one is we call it is that a vibratory motion. What is vibratory motion? Any object that has to and fro motion. Okay, about its mean point, for example, let's see. Consider we have a pendulum. Again, we have a pendulum. Our pendulum start oscillating between two points, A and B. If A and B are the two its mean point, sorry, extreme points, and the ball start oscillating, 
to and fro from this up to to this part so we call it in that if the object has to and fro motion between its mean point mean point is o jahan se isne start kiya if the object move from a to b and b to a such type of motion we call it come in the category of vibratory motions and example of vibratory motion is that we have different examples of vibratory motions for example motion of a pendulum of a wall clock the child swinging in a swing and a simple pendulum okay you have seen many a clock that have a pendulum clock just make wall or watch hoti hai usme ek pendulum oscillate karta hai to and fro like that ek pendulum ka bhi example aapko clear hai usme bhi motion kaisa hota object ka from a to b and from b to a to and fro motion okay and the third one example is of aapko maine bhi batayi hai That is a child swinging in a swing. जो पिंग होती है ठीक है झूला झूलते हैं बच्चे दैट इज ऑल्सो एग्जाम्पल ऑफ सर्कुलेटरी सॉरी वाइब्रेटरी मोशन सो वही हैव थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ मोशन लीनियर मोशन सर्कुलर मोशन एंड वाइब्रेटरी मोशन ठीक है नेक्स्ट इज वी कॉल इट इज नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज रेफरेंस पॉइंट रेफरेंस पॉइंट क्या होता है बेटे किसी भी ऑब्जेक्ट का मोशन तभी हम बता पाएंगे अगर उसका कोई रेफरेंस पॉइंट होगा सो रेफरेंस पॉइंट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट For example, if the train is in motion, if the train is in motion, तो वो motion में है या rest में है ये हमें कैसे पता चलेगा We know that platform, जो platform होगा that is at rest and the train is in motion. So the platform act as a reference point. With respect to the platform, the train is in motion. If both the train are moving on a track and the both the train are in motion and have equal speed and moving along same direction then one a uh, one train will assume that second train is at rest and uh, in case of second train assumes that the first train is at rest because both doesn't change their position with respect to time okay so again the definition of motion if the object changes its position with respect to time then we said the object is in motion to so, agar do train dono ek hi train ek hi uh, alag alag track pe ek saath ja rahi hai theek hai to kya hoga wo train ko lagega ki first train bhi rest pe hai aur second ko lagega first bhi rest pe hai theek hai but dono ka motion kaise pata chalega kisi reference point ke zariye aur reference point hoga koi fixed point which is at rest wo rest pe hona chahiye तभी उससे रिलेटेड सेकंड ऑब्जेक्ट का मोशन मेजर होगा एंड सच पॉइंट इज नाउन एज रेफरेंस पॉइंट क्लियर व्हाट इज रेफरेंस पॉइंट रेफरेंस पॉइंट इज दैट पॉइंट व्हिच डिटरमाइन व्हिच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू आइडेंटिफाई द मोशन ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट नेक्स्ट इज दैट मोशन अलोंग ए स्ट्रेट लाइन नाउ वी हैव अ फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट टर्म्स फर्स्ट इज दैट डिस्टेंस सेकंड इज द डिस्प्लेसमेंट and uh, third is uniform motion for this non uniform motion the first part is distance what is distance distance is the actual path traveled by the object between initial and final position length of an actual path between initial and final position of an object is called as distance okay and the second is displacement displacement is it is the shortest distance between the initial and final position of an object ab thoda detail mein rakhte hain what is distance and what is displacement but i suppose mere paas a point hai ye this part is known as a a if this is initial point initial point ab object from a se gaya ghoom phir ke yahan pe aake ye ye point kya ho gaya uska final point b final point if a is the starting point and b is the final point then actual path covered by the object theek hai between initial and final position of an object is called distance to ye jitna bhi isne travel kiya hai na sara ka sara rasta that is come into the category of a 
डिस्टेंस ठीक है सो इसमें क्या आएगा कि वेन दिस पार्ट इज इनिशियल पॉइंट दिस वन इज फाइनल पॉइंट सो द लेंथ जितना ये इसकी सारी की सारी लेंथ होगी दैट लेंथ जो होगी वो एक्चुअल में उसने ट्रेवल की है बिटवीन द इनिशियल एंड फाइनल पोजिशन ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट दैट इज नॉन एज डिस्टेंस और डिसमेंट क्या होगा शॉर्टेस्ट डिस्टेंस अब बताइए ए और बी का शॉर्टेस्ट डिस्टेंस क्या आएगा ये बात ये तो ये सबसे शॉर्टेस्ट पॉइंट है ए में अगर बी तक जाना है तो वो सीधा जो शॉर्टेस्ट पाथ होगा उसका दैट इज नाउन एज डिस्प्लेसमेंट तो दिस इज डिस्प्लेसमेंट ये वाली जो लाइन आएगी दिस पार्ट इज द शॉर्टेस्ट पार्ट और इट इज शॉर्टेस्ट डिस्टेंस बिटवीन इनिशियल एंड फाइनल पोजिशन ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट ठीक है तो डिस्प्लेसमेंट क्या आपको बताएगा शॉर्टेस्ट डिस्टेंस डिस्टेंस क्या बता रहे एक्चुअल पाथ कवर बाय एन ऑब्जेक्ट एक्चुअल पाथ ओके सेकेंड डिफरेंस इज दैट सेकेंड डिफरेंस क्या आएगा सेकेंड डिफरेंस आएगा ये बताओ ठीक है सेकेंड डिफरेंस इज डिस्टेंस डिपेंड्स ऑन द पाथ फॉलोड बाय द ऑब्जेक्ट डिस्टेंस किस पे डिपेंड करते हैं पाथ फॉलोड पे एंड डिस्प्लेसमेंट डस नॉट डिपेंड ऑन द पाथ फॉलोड बाय एन ऑब्जेक्ट इट इज पाथ इंडिपेंडेंट दिस इज पाथ डिपेंडेंट ये पाथ पर डिपेंड करते हैं एंड दिस पार्ट इज नॉट पाथ डिपेंड ऑन पाथ फोर्थ वन इज द डिस्टेंस इज ऑलवेज पॉजिटिव डिस्टेंस इज ऑलवेज पॉजिटिव डिस्टेंस नेवर जीरो नेवर नेगेटिव ये पार्ट आपने याद रखना है डिस्टेंस इज ऑलवेज पॉजिटिव एंड नेवर एंड नेवर जीरो और नेगेटिव ये कभी भी नेगेटिव और जीरो नहीं होगा देखिए अगर ऑब्जेक्ट ए से ट्रेवल करता है और ए से ट्रेवल करते हुए वो बी तक जाएगा ठीक है लेकिन कुछ ना कुछ तो उसने ट्रेवल किया वो पॉजिटिव भी होगा अगर वो वापस भी आ जाए थ्रू दिस पॉइंट बैक टू ए तो वो कभी भी नेगेटिव नहीं होगा ठीक है सो डिस्टेंस इज ऑलवेज पॉजिटिव इट इज नेवर जीरो और इट इज नेवर नेगेटिव Another one, it is may be a displacement, may be a 